Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe. Whenever we hit a thousand subs, I'm going to be buying a PC and starting to stream regularly. So if you want to be a part of that, then you are more than welcome to join. Also, if you are interested in playing Call of the Wild, Apex Legends, or Fortnite with me and other subscribers, as well as channel updates, promoting your videos, or showing off your IRL hunting and fishing picks, a link to the Discord is in the description, so feel free to join down there. Thank you guys for watching, and now let's get into the video that you came here for. Oh! Well then. Is it a diamond? I have no idea. Wait, whoa! Wait! Hold up. Ooh, my heart's going. Okay, I haven't seen anything like approaching double diamonds like that in a long time. So, I've, I mean, I know this server is not hacked, and I've never run into a hack server on console, but I've run around on it a little bit, and I know that there's like legit animals everywhere, so I think this is just crazy luck. But we're not host. Our first priority is definitely the bobcat. I have some diamond bobcats, but they're way tougher. Then a diamond, that's a level 7 guy, they're way tougher than the diamond pronghorn, even though I've never got a diamond pronghorn on Rancho, I still think a diamond bobcat is way better, so we need to get in, okay, wait, we could 22 trick him, and we have the pistol, so, maybe, let's see, okay, zero for 200, let's take this. Ooh, he moved, but that got him. Now we just gotta get over there. Okay, so I crashed. I'm back in, oh no. The level 60 guy's host now. Uh, I'm not gonna get on the four-wheeler and try to get over there quickly because, and I'm not going to put a waypoint there, I'm not going to try to get over there quickly, because if I get on the four-wheeler, he's level 60, it could draw his attention, and he probably won't appreciate it. I think he's checking up there, he hasn't changed the time. I'm just hoping he doesn't kick me. And we also have that level 5 pronghorn to think about, which, just by itself, isn't the craziest thing. But, to have it with a legendary bobcat... That is pretty incredible. And, I mean, that's another thing. They, that That is why, man, I, I love this game. I have, there he is, we just gotta get over to him. I have almost 2,000 hours in it, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. But, <laughs> the multiplayer in this game, man, like, like, whenever you think that you are getting into playing this game, and you're, and you're really having a good multiplayer session, it, it can, uh... It does its best to convince you to quit playing sometimes, but I haven't gotten trolled yet by a bobcat, so if I had to guess, I think this thing will, just because that seems unlikely, but yeah. That is a troll. That sucks, but I'm actually lucky I got vitals on that. Very lucky, because it turned, because of the alert animation. But, yeah, I mean, it is just, it is just a troll. It didn't have a good estimate. Um... They died in at 27.68, and I think the top of its estimate was 28. So, yeah, he only missed it by .05, which is not much. That sucks. He was closer than I thought, too, 170. Yeah, I mean, that's that's lucky it slipped into vitals at all. Just with that turning thing that they do in their alert, I just kind of rushed the shot. But just a troll, but uh, still, still happy to find that. And now, let's go find us a, hopefully, diamond pronghorn. What the heck? That's three max level animals in a row. I haven't even found the, the pronghorn's track. I'm still just up here looking around for the pronghorn track. And now the problem is that's a that's a diamond pheasant, probably. And I might have to run after it for a while, although it could be one of these things. Come on. Show me something. Show me something. 
That's probably him. If he comes flying back this way, I gotta be ready. Also, I need to try the sensitivity. Uh. Okay, sensitivity up. We ready. Oh, we are not ready. Of course he has to fly up right then. Is that him? Did we hit him? I desperately hope we hit him because I don't want to run that thing down for forever. Please, did that? That looks like blood. Yes. Yes! Okay. That's so lucky. I, I literally, as I say, we ready. He flies up. I think it looks like we hit him twice too, which means he'll die. Um, this isn't the most powerful shotgun, but it, but two hits will kill him, I think. What are the chances of that dude? Okay, here he is. I have literally hunted this map for hours and hours. Okay, and we're host now. Yeah, wait, we're not host? That's annoying, but... Yes! This is without a doubt. It was already the most insane hunt I'd have I'd had on Rancho. Oh, I like that plumage type too. It was already the most insane hunt I'd had on Rancho, just with the crashing of the bobcat and the antelope and everything. But then to have a diamond pheasant flush right in front of me as I'm going for the track on a potential diamond pronghorn, the first level five pronghorn that I'd ever seen on Rancho. After going for a diamond pheasant for I don't know how long, I mean, a, a lot of hours. Not a bad shot, too. We only did hit it once, but it had a bunch, just a bunch of blood splatters on the ground because it was four hits, I guess. Not a bad shot. I, I literally, I'm like, okay, we're ready, and then it flushes from right under my feet. I was expecting it to be more over the hill where that warning call was from. I'm glad it turned up the sensitivity, too. That's another thing on console that I really wish they fixed is... They need to have an iron sight sensitivity and a scope sensitivity. So, like, if you want your scope sensitivity at, like, two, so that you can make more precise shots from long range, especially with a shotgun in a situation like this, and then if something flushes from right in front of you, you can just quick take off the scope, and then you're good to go on, like, a four or a five sensitivity, because it's impossible to, to, to try to aim down sight at a bird that's flying at close range. You have to basically guess where it's going to be, and then you have just a little window where you can ADS and shoot it. And we're host. Let's go. I've run around where this thing's tracks should be. Can't find it. So I think the play right now is to go set it. Let me see. I believe I need to look at the Call of the Wild Guide app real quick just to make sure. But I believe that there is an hour of the day where... Uh, pronghorn and bobcats don't share drink time. So 9 p.m. That would be, what, 21. Yeah. So if we just go set it to 21 and then wait, hopefully he'll have calmed down. There's no guarantee. He might still be nervous, in which case, hopefully he comes to the zone. He might not. Um, we may just have to hunt around on this server for a while. But that's not the end of the world because I was planning to do that anyway just to verify that there aren't really any any other diamonds that are just all over the place because, you know, to find a lot of diamonds on one server isn't that crazy. But to find that many that quickly and, you know, it, it just... Most likely it's fine. It is console. Hacking is super uncommon. As far as I know, I've never run into it in like 1,800, 1,900 hours of playing. But just better safe than sorry, because I, I just want to make sure that, especially with something as good as a diamond pheasant, or at least as good as a diamond pheasant for me, which with as hard as I've worked for one, and then to find one like that, I just want to make sure it's absolutely legit. Okay, so as far as I can tell, he's not here, but I did find a bunch of tracks of pronghorn drink zones that I know for a fact I didn't spook out of there. So that would mean that, wait a minute. Yeah, no, I'm right. Yeah, that would mean that they're, they're not here yet. So they're probably nervous drinking somewhere because of the bobcats. So what I'm gonna do, I think the play now is just to go hunt whitetail for 10, 15 minutes, let them calm down. I'll just go to a completely different area of the map, way out of render, let them calm down for like 10, 15 minutes, come back, uh, and they should all be here in theory. That's uh. That is the way I think it should go anyway. Hmm. I seem to be stupid. 
Okay, yeah, no, I'm actually just an idiot. I set the time an hour far ahead because I read the little Call of the Wild app wrong, and instead of just looking at the map at the pronghorn zones I'd already discovered, I thought it would be a good idea to look at the Call of the Wild app and misread it. So, you do not have to flame me in the comments, guys. I now, uh, I now realize the error of my ways. And I'm setting it to 2010 instead of 2110. Now, let's head out there. And now, I think he should be there. Unless I spooked him again, in which case, yeah, he'll be nervous, which, uh, not, not optimal. But, uh, we'll just go back to our old plan B of hunting White Hill for a few minutes and then coming back. They should be drinking over here. That's where I saw him. He was nervous. He was coming like up from this area, going up into the mountains. Like he was running from bobcats or something. Dude. What the heck? Okay. I feel bad. Are you good? I feel bad. My dude's level 7. I can't just kick him. But, uh... That might have to happen if we stumble across this pronghorn, because I'm a nice guy. Uh, I'm not that nice. Multiplayer is a strange place, man. <laughs> Multiplayer is a... It's a it's a weird thing. What, what you doing, bud? Okay. Level 3, still fleeing, of course. I swear, dude, there is just no getting away from these bobcats. I might have to go the old-fashioned way and just not use drink zones. Just set it to sometime during the day when bobcats are resting and, uh... Wait! Why are you here? Watch... Uh... What? Oh, you just gotta be smarter than that, man. I'm sorry. You just... You gotta know better. I, I, I am... I truly am sorry. But not too much. Because... That's gotta be common... Okay, you have to... <laughs> that's gotta be common knowledge, right? I don't care how low level you are. You don't walk up to somebody and then shoot a gun next to them in a hunting game. Now, where is... This stinking thing. That's gotta be his zone. Him? Him? Yeah. So that time kind of paid off. So yeah, if you're looking to find Pronghorn on Rancho, you gotta kind of set it to that little last little... That last little slice of time when the bobcats are gone. Oh, he's... he's set. Ew, don't, don't be scared. If I get careless and just make him run now... After all this... Okay, he's still there. He's attentive. Is that a good angle? No, it is not. They're also finna leave, but I think I can sneak around to the left a little bit. But yeah, uh, if you are trying to... Wait. Traveling. Why are you leaving early? That's not optimal. I can probably just 22-trick them if they do end up dipping. But yeah, if you are trying to hunt pronghorn... It's very inefficient to hunt them on Rancho because bobcats do screw it up, but you can hit that last little, like, 15, 20 in-game minutes, which is only, like, four or five real minutes, but it's enough to kind of check some of the better lakes. And in the long run, it's going to serve you better because at least you know that there's not a level 5 or a rare fur that got spooked away while you were checking just because the bobcats weren't all gone. Our boy is still there, and he is still at a perfectly awful angle. And I'm afraid to alert him because then he'll just start walking because their drink zone is basically over. And now I'm too close to 20 to trick him as well. So I guess we'll go left and hope he doesn't start walking. And if he does, we'll just have to alert him the old fashioned way just by jumping and running around like an idiot. That's the really tight rack. I think that rack goes diamond. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a good estimate as well. 90 meters, that's a good enough angle, I'm going to say. Oh. 
fleeing, but dead. Now we're good. Well, we're not good yet. We have to get over there without crashing. Blow this guy. Let's, wow, words. It's late. Cut me some slack. Let's pick this guy up. I think he goes diamond. 104. Ooh, hoo, hoo, max weight. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's like the... Is that the heart rack? I think that's what they call the heart rack. I'm not much of a pronghorn guy. But yeah, that, that's way over diamond. And max weight. 104.21. Very nice.